Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition on the Nintendo Switch, a classic turn-based RPG, no doubt like many of you been seriously excited for this one but it definitely has its fair share of issues. So hit subscribe, join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily and let's get started. Today we'll be looking at a fair few areas, but specifically I want to address the package itself, what new updates and changes we see, and then of course performance. This it's a really unusual one in places honestly and I didn't see that coming. Story then and we will follow Serge, a young teenage boy, name wise they can be renamed and the idea you end up in what is an ultimate reality where you died as a child. Get out there with up to 43 other characters and uncover the history of this world, what occurred and then meet more than a few shady locals out to stand in your way. The story, it's no question a classic, the writing has this fantastic balance of different emotions while knowing how to play into the humour of certain sequences. It just feels natural, you know, often in its exchanges, and the huge cast on offer means you'll always find many characters to like, even if lines often repeat, no matter the squad setup. It's just a unique world with this great cast and it's full of intrigue and there's absolutely a reason so many adore this game and that for me it is because of this story. So let's talk about the actual gameplay then and Chrono Cross it's a turn based RPG it's got a detailed system built around a percentage hit rate but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. There's plenty of information out there on it. I want to talk about the way this package has been built up and then the changes it's seen implemented. The most obvious first off and expected change was the ability to jump between the original graphics and then also the new HD remastered edition. The real difference here though you can sum it up as backgrounds have been made HD and if you play with the original graphics you have no choice all character models they have still been converted to HD for some reason. Straight off the bat then I would have preferred original to be just that, the original visuals, characters included. And then the models themselves were served for the remastered edition. You sadly though cannot pick and choose either, 3D models, illustrations, font and background filters, they cannot be toggled independently. Perhaps the most unusual adjustment though, I played in the original visuals for the most part, but battles, they are updated no matter which mode you choose. It makes the original graphics this almost hybrid of new and old which can at points be absolutely jarring. The 3D models on the pixelated backgrounds it just kind of looks strange. This leads to a big problem as well. Chrono Cross released way back in 1999 yet in 2022 we are still currently facing frame rate issues which is definitely disappointing. With the original graphics for the most part exploration and the overworld maps you know on foot and boat they seem mostly fine at targeting 30 frames per second. With the new graphics then it's about the same but exploration I noticed some minor stutters. The big problem though cutscenes and battles following an opening cutscene with the remaster it stuttered dramatically that's what initially forced my switch to original visuals but then the battles a smaller scale they are mostly fine but anything that's sizable it just kind of chugs along. I also know frame rate was an issue when this originally released but call me crazy and saying I expected it to be fixed up by 2022. This isn't just a slight dip either, rather the frame rate is flying all over the place and it leads to a big problem for me. The menus they feel sluggish, even enemy selection at points just kind of felt troublesome. In fact this is the main reason you're not seeing a full review from me today. I ended up dropping the game around 5 hours in, I'm personally now waiting on a patch. This is a classic game, 10 out of 10 game honestly but not in this state. I don't want to tarnish my love for this experience. It made something that should be so smooth and so satisfying slow and cumbersome and like I said the real big problem here is no matter what visual option you choose you're going to be forced into this kind of combat. There is absolutely no way to avoid this from occurring. Somewhat a positive I guess in handheld, the issue isn't quite as bad and for sure makes it a little bit more enjoyable. 
Alongside this as well then, I'm just not in love with the overall package and what they've done here. I hate to use the word, but it feels like a bit of a lazy port for a game that deserves so much more. The visual switch can only be done, for example, from the main menu, so you need to quit the game each and every time at a save point if you want to make a shift. I feel like traditionally now that should happen at the tap of a button. We have three screen sizes and I played normal that is accompanied with grey bars on the left and right of the screen. I feel like maybe a, you know, a few options would have been nice here, like some game art, but there's nothing. We do get text box backgrounds. That's you know, kind of interestingly enough here as a compromise, I guess. The controls then are fine, but you'll basically have a flash on screen to show you what they are to open the game. And that is it. Take a photo of this screen on your phone too or something so you can refer to it. Now naturally this is just the age of the game but a menu option to see it at any time really wouldn't have hurt because a lot of the tweaks are only used here via input. For example you can push both the left and right stick for auto battle. Then you can fast forward, slow down, you can turn off random battles as well. But never from a simple menu only with convoluted inputs. Even quitting the game, it's random. You push all four triggers and the plus button together. Now, call me crazy, but maybe we could have just paused the game and selected quit to main menu. Positives for adjustments in the menus, we can customize the controller layout. We can turn on auto sprint. It has a few sensitivity options and then HD rumble. We also get an audio choice between stereo and mono. Sadly though, with music, the original soundtrack is not included. It's only this refined one, as they put it. It's still an incredible soundtrack, do not get me wrong, but I know that's going to upset some purists out there. It's still the original composer as well, but it's been rearranged, and I still liked it enough to order the final pressing. The package then is wrapped up with Radical Dreamers. This was actually a standalone release from 1996. It's an audio novel and it presents an alternate story centered around the title Radical Dreamers, a group of three thieves, and it would go on to become the basis for the full game. Definitely a nice dash of history, but I would have still loved honestly more, you know, digital art, just something along those lines. Honestly, look like again, it's a game I love. It's got some good ideas in the package. It's just many of those quality of life improvements are hidden behind convoluted controller inputs instead of, you know, simple menu selections. Then the graphics, they do look decent enough, but there's no true original mode. Battles and sprites are forced on you in HD. Then the audio, it's a great soundtrack still, but both would have definitely been nice. The funny thing is, all of these issues I could honestly handle to enjoy Chrono Cross again, but sadly, what I can't handle is the general performance. This is a game where you live in menus, and the frame rate is currently so unstable that they feel sluggish. It seems as well that they locked out exploration and the overworld to 30, but unlocked the battles, and that may be a big part of the problem. Again, look, for the first few hours, you probably won't notice, but as it escalates, you're gonna see it, it's gonna impact the fun. I'm sad to say it today though, but I'm waiting on a patch in Chrono Cross. It deserves better, honestly, across the board. But yeah, look, at least give me a patch and I can at least then jump in and play one of the best JRPGs out there. That will honestly be enough for me. I hope that happens though sooner rather than later. You could also argue then it's, you know, the original had issues back in 1999, especially with that frame rate. But to 2022, that is a long time. I don't think it's an unfair expectation on my part. Will you be adding this one to the library then or holding onto that cash? A shout out then to the patrons of the channel who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. It helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe if you love the Switch. As much as we all do here, join our growing family and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.